Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we would be solving problem 10 from the chapter of stress in the 10th edition of Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. In problem 10, a jib crane is given and it is required to determine the resultant tunnel loadings in the crane on the cross section at points A, B and C. Before starting with the solution, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon in order to get the regular updates. So let's start with the solution by solving the resultant tunnel loadings on the cross section at point A and you know that we have to cut the member at the required point in this case A point and we'll take either of the portion so I'm going to take the right portion in this case and to start with the calculation we have to draw the free body diagram of the right portion so let's draw the free body diagram In this free body diagram the 300 pound force at point F is due to the force acting on the hook and this 150 pound force is due to the self weight of the member and it is given as 50 pounds per fit so for 3 fits it will be 150 pounds and the unknowns VA, NA and MA are actually the resultant tunnel loading that we have to find out and these unknowns can be calculated by applying the conditions of equilibrium so let's apply the conditions of equilibrium First condition of equilibrium, summation of all forces acting in x direction equal to 0, that will give us the value of Na. So there is no any other force in x direction, that's why Na equal to 0. Applying the second condition of equilibrium, that is summation of all forces acting in y direction equal to 0, considering upward forces as positive. So there are three forces acting in y direction, 300 forces acting downwards and negative, 150 pounds is also acting downward, negative but the unknown of VA is acting upward and is positive so from this equation we will have the value of VA as 450 pounds now to determine the value of MA let's apply the third condition of equilibrium that is summation of all moments acting at any point equal to zero and let's consider that point is A point and considering the clockwise moments as positive so as I consider the clockwise moment of MA hence MA is positive the moment created due to 150 pounds will also be positive the moment arm would be 1.5 feet as it is acting at a distance of 1.5 from point A the moment created due to 300 pounds will also be clockwise and positive and its magnitude would be 300 multiplied by the 3 as the distance between A and F the point of application of force and A is 3 feet so from this equation we will have the value of MA and when we will do the calculation we will have the value of MA as minus 1125 pounds fit and this negative sign shows that the considered direction of MA would be altered means it will be anti-clockwise now we have got the result internal loadings acting at point A now let's move on to determine the result internal loadings acting at point B applying the same procedure cutting the member at point B taking the right portion and drawing a free body diagram Now let's calculate NB, VB and MB by applying the conditions of equilibrium. The first condition of equilibrium summation of all forces acting in x direction equal to 0 and that will give us the normal force acting at point B as there is no any other force so again the normal force at point B would also be equal to 0. Now in order to determine the shear force apply the second condition of equilibrium that is summation of all forces acting in y direction equal to zero considering the upward forces as positive vb is acting upward and positive the force of 300 pounds is acting downward and negative the force of 550 is acting downward and negative so from this equation we will have the vb as 850 pounds now in order to determine the value of MB apply the third condition of equilibrium that is summation of all moments acting at point B equal to zero taking clockwise moments as positive as MB is considered clockwise and is positive and the moment created due to 550 pounds will also be clockwise and is positive and this 550 pounds will act at a middle point hence the moment arm would be 5.5 the moment created due to 300 pounds will also be clockwise and the moment arm which is the distance between point B and F is 11 feet 
So from this equation we will have the value of MB as minus 6325 pounds fit or you can say 6.325 kips fit. In this negative sign shows that the considered direction of MB which was clockwise but the actual direction of MB would be anti-clockwise. Now in the last we are going to determine the resultant tunnel loading acting at point C. So we will cut the member at point C and uh, I am going to take the port portion in order to determine the resultant tunnel loadings acting at point C. So let's draw the free body diagram of the upper portion. Self weight of that boom DF is 50 pounds per fit. So for 13 feet length, it would be 650 pounds. In a similar way, the column has the self weight of 50 pounds per fit. For length up to C point means 5 feet, it will be 250 pounds. That is being shown here. Now the unknowns NC, VC, and uh, MC can be determined by applying the conditions of equilibrium. So let's apply one by one. The first condition of equilibrium will give us the value of VC. That is summation of all forces acting in x direction equal to zero. So there is only VC. Hence the value of VC would be zero. On applying the second condition of equilibrium that is summation of all forces acting in y direction equal to zero. Taking upward forces as positive. NC is acting upward and it's positive. And the 250 pounds is acting downwards and it's negative. 650 will also be negative and 300 will also negative. So from here we will have the value of NC as 1200 pounds or 1.2 kips. Now in order to have the value of MC, we will apply the third condition of equilibrium that is summation of all moments acting at any point equal to zero and we are considering that point as C point, considering the clockwise moments as positive. The moment due to 250 pounds would be zero as I consider the clockwise moment of MC so positive. The moment created due to 650 pounds will also be clockwise and uh, the moment arm would be 6.5 feet. The 300 pounds will also have the clockwise moment about point C. The moment arm would be 13. So from here we will have the value of MC as minus 8.125 pounds fit. Or you can say minus 8.125 kips fit. So these are the resultant tunnel loadings acting at point C. So now we have got all the resultant tunnel loadings acting at point A, B and C. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video.